The islands of Mentawai are situated just off the coast of Sumatra. It is on these islands that experts are predicting a great earthquake comparable in destruction to the one that caused the 2004 tsunami. A group of filmmakers followed Professor Kerry C of the Earth Observatory of Singapore to the island to make the documentary People, Coral, Mentawai. And some people got angry and said, like, do you think that you are more powerful than God? <laughs> you want to invite tsunami to Padang City? Please go. We don't want to hear tsunami. Never. The, the, the word tsunami and earthquake is tsunami, especially. It's very strange. Nobody knows that and nobody cares, of course, until the 2004. Because before that, we already told them that tsunami might come to Sumatra. Nobody believes that. Nobody really understands what's going on. But after Aceh, now they realize it's come to us. Oh, what you say is true. There's a tsunami coming to Sumatra and stuff. And now I think lots of people know tsunami. The villagers may know what a tsunami is now. But what Professor Isaac saw suggested to him that they may not truly understand the impact of a tsunami. So we saw, for example, on the coast of Padang, this was something that really struck me as, as, a, as a, a kind of illogical thinking type of thing. Uh, they play some huge rocks uh, right next to this, the beach, thinking that those rocks can stop the tsunami. But what's going to happen in reality if a tsunami hits there is that those rocks are just going to fly like, you know, missiles into the houses, which are just 10 meters behind. And this, we're talking about these huge, massive rocks. So part of the what, part of our, our mission and the, the scientists and the NGOs in in, that, in in doing this is to raise the awareness so that the the towns can better prepare and can better plan and can choose strategies that make more sense. For the filmmakers, there's only so much they can do for the villagers. It's kind of sad to see the people there, yeah, knowing that the next big earthquake will actually hit them and stuff. But uh, I guess that even though they know the fact that earthquake will be hitting them, they still will have to stay there because that's where their home is and things like that. The people's livelihoods will always be in those areas, it's not possible to just uproot them and ask them to go to another place to stay where it's safer because that's where their roots lie. So, um, I guess what the only things that like such documentaries and the government can do is to is to raise the awareness of uh, the danger of such things happening and and to let them know that it's, it's something that's real and. It will happen if nothing is being done. People will be, lives will be lost. Padang has been identified as a likely location for the next tsunami. With 800,000 inhabitants, some estimate that 60,000 lives will be lost if the next giant tsunami hits the area by surprise. We don't want to lose our beloved people, our beloved family, like what happened in Aceh. If we are not prepared today, we cannot save our next generation, so that's why every day we talk about tsunami, but we also think about our family. The threat of the big earthquake is real. There will be another tsunami like the one we had in 2004. Individuals like Professor Kerry and Isaac are trying their best to warn the public about the next big quake. And that is really all they can do.